Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. And we're going again to Italy. Uh, like I said, I got a few more, I got a few Italian wines recently. And um, this particular wine, again, is another one of those varietals I've never had before. So I'm real excited to try that. Um, this is uh, from the southeastern part of Italy, known as Puglia, not Puglia, uh, but Puglia or Apulia. Um, anyway, uh, it's where the Appian Way goes from Rome down to Appia, Apulia. All right, so um, this is the uh, Tormoresca Puglia, uh, Neprica 2009. Bought this at World Market for $8.89. Um, and uh, it's regularly $10.99 there. Now this is a blend of, of different uh, grapes. This is 40% uh, Negro Amaro, 30% uh, Primitivo, and 30% Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, and then uh, I'll, I'll uh, read the little back label to uh, talk about it. Neprica, or Neprica, is a, a ruby red wine named after the grapes in the blend. Uh, so, Neprica. Um, has aromas of berries and blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway, that's why it's called Neprica. Anyway, uh, so this is a uh, wine that's uh, native to southern, or the, the um, uh, Negra, Negra Amaro, Negra Amaro uh, is also known, as, also known as Nero Amaro, and then a bunch of other synonyms, especially with Italian grapes. They've got, depending on what, depending on One moment, please. Sorry, technical difficulties in the background. You probably didn't even hear it because I'm actually... Oh yeah, by the way, a few episodes back, yeah, the microphone wasn't turned on. I actually wasn't plugged in to the camera. Not that the sound was that bad, but it's better with the microphone. Anyway, um, like a, a lot of Italian grape varietals, there are um, uh, a lot of names for one grape, depending on what part of the country they're, you're, you're in. So anyway, um, this, uh, the varietal, uh, the main varietal, is uh, native in the uh, southern part of Italy. Now, um, Again, this is the southeastern part where the heel is of the boot. And um, I think I already just did that. No, I didn't. So we're going to check this out. Italian wines are one of those wines that I really need to <clears throat> experience a lot more of. I seem to not buy them. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm always like, kind of I'll get to it. And I tend to buy a bunch of other stuff. But um, I do plan on getting a lot more involved in, you know, over the next year, drinking more of them, especially with all these interesting varietals they've got. I get a bit of smokiness, a tad bit of smokiness on the, on the nose. Darker red fruits, maybe a touch of chocolate. Well, red wines are just so much easier for me to to evaluate. I don't know why. No mocha this time, or coffee. That, that's really about it on it. Let's see how it tastes.
Oh yeah, it's got like all the, all kinds of good stuff. Um, it's pretty juicy. It's got, um, I get that the spices that you get from Primitivos or AKA Zinfandel, though they're not technically exactly the same grape, but they're basically the same grape. Um, uh, I'm getting kind of that, I actually do get kind of a plum thing coming from this. I know the last one says plums, but I didn't get plums. I am getting kind of a plum thing from this one. Um, a bit of pepper, um, red fruits, the plums, a little bit of um, a little bit of sweetness to it, um, but not like not like not sweet. But just get that fruit flavor. Um, I like it. It's it's pretty good. It's a it's got a little bit of heat to it. So let's see. It's probably yeah you know, thirteen and a half. Typical European wines aren't going to be like fourteen fifteen percent, but it feels like maybe the alcohol is a little bit too much. It didn't get contained, um, but it's not it's not overwhelming. The uh, tannins are very light, um, light to medium, light to moderate. Um, it's a, it doesn't have a very heavy body wine. Not, it's not very heavy wine. Um, for nine ten dollars, I think it's a, definitely a, a good buy. I think you should get it. Uh, rating wise, uh, as far as how is the wine made? Uh, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it around an eighty six. Um, nothing that's, uh, I don't think it's like the best wine. I don't think it's like perfect. Well, I'll never give a hundred. I'll never give a wine a hundred. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's well made. I think it's a decent wine, 86 points. You know, uh, I do like it. And, um, uh, yeah, if you can find it, which is a world, you know, one of those wines world market brings in. So world markets all over the place. I'm sure you can find it at world market. Um, it's reasonably priced. Check it out, something that you've never had before, probably, other than, you know, Chianti and Pinot Grigio. Um, check it out. Uh, as seems to be per usual on all the wines today, I do not have a link to the winery. Um, I mean, I have links of stuff I looked it up for the varietal and the actual, like, websites that sell the wine. Um, but uh, no, no link for the wine. But stop by the website, leave comments, see if you, uh, let me know if you've ever had this particular wine or if you've had uh, Negro, um, Negro Amaro um, or anything similar to it. And um, tell me what you think. Uh, friend me up, donate, and that's going to be it. We'll see, everyone, we'll see everyone again next time.